Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Gold Zero Nomad 200 portable solar panel. This is a 200 watt monocrystalline solar panel that's going to efficiently convert the sunlight into electricity so you can charge up your medium to large devices. On the back side of this far panel here, we do have this mesh pocket that contains our connectors. So we're going to have a six foot high power port cable that is compatible with Anderson power pole connectors here. And this is going to provide 14 to 24 volts or up to 14 amps, all the way up to 200 watts of maximum power output there. So that's going to allow you to charge up your Yeti uh, 400, as you can see on the screen there, uh, as well as your Yeti 400 lithium, Yeti 500X, Yeti 1000 lithium, Yeti 1400 lithium, Yeti 1500X, and Yeti 6000 lithium, as well as the Yeti 3000X. All of those are sold separately, but this is going to work with that to charge up your Yeti so that you can charge your larger devices, run um, your televisions, refrigerators, that sort of thing. And we also have our six inch USB cable here. This is capable of five volts or up to 2.4 amps with a 12 watt max. And this will allow you to charge your phone, uh, tablet, any other USB device right from the solar panel here. So a nice little option with both, both of those. We zip this back up. You can see that these panels do fold in both directions so that you can get this set up uh, to maximize your exposure to the sun, ensure that you're getting the most power capable. It's also going to allow us to fold up all four panels for easier uh, storage. We also have on the back side these foldable legs or kickstands. These will fold back in and they have a hook and loop connection there so that they will stay in place. And when you're ready, you can pull them back out and it will allow them the uh, solar panel to be freestanding. They also have these little loops here on the ends and that will allow you to put some stakes in those uh, three kickstands so that if it's windy, you're not gonna have to worry about the wind blowing over your solar panel. We'll allow it to all uh, stay in place and stay upright. We also have hanging loops up here at the top and sides and also at the bottom, but you can't see that right now. Uh, these are going to allow you to attach the panel to your vehicle or tents. Keep in mind, that the whole thing does weigh about 22 pounds, so you will want to make sure that you have a nice sturdy connection, that you've got multiple connection types or loops there to make sure that uh, you can set this up in several different ways. As far as our dimensions go, when we have it unfolded like this, uh, our total width is going to be approximately 86 inches. Um, if you include the little flap here that I'll show in a second, it's closer to 100 inches, uh, but with the, the four panels only, it's about 86 inches wide by 28 and a quarter of an inch tall. And then the majority of our panel is only about 1 16th of an inch thick, so it's very, very thin. Of course, we do have our uh, cables back here, so say about an inch thick overall when we have it completely unfolded. And then when we fold it up, very simple to do, just fold one panel over, make sure that those kickstands are adhered. Just very easily fold those panels on top of themselves. And then that flap there, cover up, it's got a magnet closing uh, to kind of hold everything together. And when you have it folded up like this, you're looking at about 21 and three quarters of an inch wide. Again, the same height of uh, 28 and a quarter of an inch tall. And then the thickness is gonna double, be about two inches thick. Uh, so not much space at all to store away, uh, take with you wherever you're going. And then when you get there, you very easily can get everything set back up 
just kick those, pull those kickstands out. I'll allow it to lean back like so. And then you just continue to unfold those panels. One of the really nice things about the portable solar panels like this is that you're going to be able to uh, set this up in the sun. So rather than uh, having to park your motorhome or your vehicle in the, the sun where it's hot, like you would with permanently mounted solar panels, this is going to allow you to park in the shade, hang out in the shade, uh, relax, enjoy your time outdoors, and then move this to wherever the sun is shining the brightest. It's also going to allow you to move with the sun. So if you're parked by some trees, all of a sudden, you know, the, the trees are casting shade on your solar panel, you'll be able to move it to where the sun is shining again so that you're always getting the most sun to charge up uh, your Yeti or other devices. So a really nice option here, 200 watts total uh, capacity. That's, of course, an ideal situation. So if the sun is shining really bright, uh, no clouds or anything like that, uh, but should do a really good job of helping to charge up uh, any of your uh, Yeti or other devices. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.